Salut! In this video, I'll be talking to you about subjects and school. I will talk about opinions of school subjects, different types of schools, secondary school year groups, and items for school as well. Please like, subscribe, and share. First, let's look at school subjects. Le français is French, la biologie is biology, la chimie is chemistry, la physique is physics. So these three as a whole are sciences, so les sciences. And if you're in primary school or the lower years in secondary school, instead of saying three specific sciences, you might just say science as a whole. So that will be la science. L'anglais is English. Le math, maths. Le mathématique, mathematics. La géographie, geography. L'histoire, history. Keeping in mind we don't pronounce H's because they're silent. L'art or le dessin, art. La musique, music. La technologie, technology. L'informatique, which means IT or computing, computing science. Le drame, drama. L'EP, which stands for l'éducation physique et sportive. PE. L'espagnol, Spanish. L'allemand, German. Le latin, Latin. And l'italien, Italian. So now we know subjects, we can use opinion phrases to express what we think about those subjects. Quelle est ta matière préférée? What is your favourite subject? Ma matière préférée, c'est le français, car c'est amusant et intéressant d'apprendre. My favourite subject is French, because it is fun and interesting to learn. Moi, Je préfère la musique parce que c'est facile. I prefer music because it is easy. J'aime la biologie plus que la physique. I like biology more than physics. Je déteste l'histoire. Le professeur est trop strict et il donne beaucoup de devoirs. I hate history. The teacher is too strict and he gives a lot of homework. Je crois que les mathématiques et l'anglais sont utiles. I believe that mathematics and English are useful. So here are some examples of different ways you can express subjects. There are many more ways to express it. You can use different opinion phrases and different connectives, etc. So, here's an example of a school timetable. And I've added in some like new things. La pause déjeuner is lunch break. Le temps de pause is break time. L'instruction civique is PHSE. Les études religieuses is religious studies. And les affaires is business studies or economics. So, you can also talk about your school timetable. For example, J'ai trois courses de français chaque semaine. I have three French lessons every week. Je n'ai qu'un course de biologie par semaine. I only have one biology lesson per week. J'ai de la chimie le lundi. I have chemistry on Monday. J'ai des études religieuses de deux heures à trois heures. I have religious studies from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Now let's look at the different types of schools. La maternelle is nursery. La gale of le corps primaire is primary school. Le collège is secondary school, but not including sixth form. Le lycée is sixth form. 
and university or the fac is university. The different year groups in France for secondary school. La sixième is year seven, la cinquième is year eight, la quatrième is year nine, la troisième is year ten, la seconde is year eleven, la première is year twelve, and la terminale is year thirteen. So from year seven to year eleven, I think, is um, is le collège because it's secondary school but not sixth form and I think year 12 and year 13 are sixth form so the lycée and um, so I, I brought this up because I thought it's quite funny how the year groups use ordinal numbers in secondary school and it starts from the 6th and it goes down to the 1st in year 12 and year 13 is like finishing year because normally in the UK it's the numbers go up and lastly I'll talk about items or school le sac is bag le trousse is pencil case le crayon is pencil le stylo is pen and you can add colours behind it, like le stylo rouge, red pen, le stylo bleu is blue pen, le stylo vert is green pen, le stylo noir is black pen. La règle is ruler, la rapporteur is protractor, la gomme is rubber, la calculatrice, calculator, la gueule, glue, le sisu, scissors, la boîte à déjeuner, Lunchbox, the sandwich, sandwich, la baguette, baguette, la bouteille, bottle, le portable, phone, la carte de voyage, travel card, the clés, key, the écouteurs, headphones. You might need them for music, for example, or just when you're traveling. Le cahier de text, textbook, le cahier d'exercice. Exercise book, livre, reading books, l'organisateur personnel, personal organizer, or like notebook or diary. So thanks for listening and watching, and please subscribe, like, and share.